It's Thursday again guys and it's time for another 10 minute speed modeling in Blender. This time around I'm going to model a low polygon character. It's going to be a martial artist. I used to do Taekwondo back in the day. That's actually how I met my wife. Uh, she's from England that uh, we met. Uh, she was doing Taekwondo as well. And it's been a long time since I did that now and I sort of miss uh, the look of it. My kids might be getting into it now. So I'm going to model a little low poly character and give him a little uh, martial arts suit. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can pull that off in the 10 minutes. Uh, I'll see how I go and last week I did a diorama. If you missed that one have a check in the history and before that if you haven't followed this series I've done Titanic, a spaceship and also a Star Destroyer. So all of this uh, I tried to do it in 10 minutes. Find it really good to limit yourself time-wise and really keep uh, pushing the boundaries a little bit and uh, it's really good practice. I recommend anyone to try it. So challenge yourself, do a 10 minute build if you can and see how far you get and try to improve your skills that way. Someone also requested that I'd record keystrokes and show them on the screen and I'd like to do that. But uh, the program that I used to use was a screencast key for Blender it doesn't seem to be working in 2.81. If anyone knows a good way to record keystrokes and mouse clicks and things like that in uh, when I record with the OBS software, put it in the comments below and I'll try it out for the next video. All right guys, so uh, this time around I'm going to start with importing a palette before I start with the modeling. So in the previous videos I've started by going either into pixelart.com and creating a quick texture or downloading a palette uh, like I did last time from this uh, lostpex.com site. And I quite like this one here, it's 32 colors and it's got a good selection of different colors here. And uh, it should work for what I need today. I'm going to make that martial artist guy, so I need some skin colors, some whites and blacks and just some uh, other maybe browns and things for the hair. So I'm going to go for this palette and uh, I'll start by just, uh, actually I'll click on this download palette file here. I'll get get uh, this image here, 32 colors, but I'm going to flip it uh, 90 degrees vertically. And then I'll rotate this one 180 de or 90 degrees because when I have it modeling I want to compress my left side of the UV editor see, uh, tab so I can just have the colors there. And then uh, let's bring it into Blender here. So in the previous videos, I've repeated this process out of the 10 minutes, but uh, my friend again, Jim, thanks, <laughs> suggested that maybe I should uh, just start with a palette because it gets quite repetitive and I'd gladly take that minute to focus on the modeling instead. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this uh, color here to the base color. And that's uh, literally everything I'm going to do here. So I'm in the default scene here, but I'll switch this one to texture and, and enable shadows here cavity and both screen and world space so here we go and this is where I'm gonna start from I'm gonna start by creating this uh, martial artist guy now and let's see so we start fresh still, still, I like to go in fresh ready steady go and it's counting let's delete the camera and the lights tab to get into edit mode control R let's do a loop cut three to get into face select delete those vertices, go to the this tab, add a mirror modifier and enable clipping. And I actually want to model it here in the UV space, I forgot. So I the time that I saved before, I just wasted it anyway. So I'll go to texture, enable all of this again. Better luck next time. So, okay, that's done. And then here. So I'm gonna, one on the keypad, A, select. I want to model it in scale 0. So um, let's uh, do this in just a white for me. Have to move the mouse not Scale, scale X. Grab it up. Control R. Let's do the loop cut here. A. Select scale everything on the Y axis. Select that edge. G to grab it that face, E to extrude that one, rotate, E to extrude again, E to extrude again, and control R, E to extrude that one, Let's make some boxy feet, I shift space and get this uh, G here to get that view out, control R here, Loop cut, scale these out. Need some flaring uh, martial art pants here. That's going to be sufficient for what I need. Control R, loop cut, tidy in the waist a bit. Three, extrude, scale with S, extrude again, scale. 
uh, E to extrude again, scale it up, let's make it a bit wider here, some big arms for some reason. I for inset, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale it up a little bit, S to scale again, and then press Z to force the, the axis, E to extrude, Control R, let's make just a palm looking hand here, T, E to extrude that one. Okay, that shape is done, I've got seven and a half minutes gone. I for inset B to get that little thing in the center, sort it. Three on the keypad, G to grab it, R to rotate, E to extrude. Let's make a small neck here. Uh, e to extrude again. E to, let's make some sort of a head shape here. E to extrude, E to extrude again. Let's make a big head for some weird reason, but I need to make it even bigger because that looks too small. Scale. Okay. So, let me grab this one in. That's going to be enough for our head. Is that really dark, that shadow, isn't it? Too dark. Okay. Let's make a belt here. Let's bring that one down. Actually, let's bring all of it down a bit. Control R, we need to flare out the martial art suit here a bit. G. Grab this one down a bit. Control R, let's make room for the belt here. Scale it down. Scale it down even more, actually. Control R again, scale this one down. Switch with the three on the keep or the top here to get these. I to inset, e, let's make the belt here. S to scale it and Y to scale it on the Y axis. Let's bring this center one out a bit. Okay, five and a half, so six minutes gone. Okay, let's get uh, the belt thing here. Let's do K to cut this one. Oh, K to cut it. We extrude this one, extrude again to make room for this belt. I'm gonna switch off the, actually let's colorize this now. Put on the head, control plus on the keypad to select the whole head. G to move these and I'll do some skin color here. Let's make the, that one here. Control plus on the keypad again. G to grab these and move them. And let's do barefoot as well. Control plus on oop, too many times, keypad. G, skin color. And then uh, black belt, I guess he'll be. Control plus. Oh. Let's grab these. Control plus. We need these as well. The entire belt needs to be black here. G. Sorted. And then uh, five minutes gone. Half time gone. I'm going to switch off the mirror modifier now because I want to start modeling it in a bit uh, less symmetrical. So I'll apply that. Let's extrude this belt first. E to extrude, rotate, scale a bit. E to extrude, rotate, G to grab it. E to extrude again, rotate, grab. E to extrude, rotate, grab. Okay. Let's expand this one. Rotate it first, G, E. Rotate, E, rotate, grab. When I say grab, it's uh, the letter G that I do a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's actually standing for grab, but um, it's called it call it that anyway. G, rotate, control plus, let's move this whole thing out. Of Actually, I need to rotate this whole thing down. Rotate. Okay. And then let's do some, okay, about four minutes to go. Let's do some stuff with the suit here. I'll just use K here for the knife tool and then uh, make horrible topology. Remember, this is not optimal <laughs> topology for uh, for a game character. You want quads, really. But especially this animal will be... Ca uh, animal? <laughs> this uh, character will be animated. So you should really try to stick with uh, quads. But I can uh, probably uh, optimize this mesh a little bit later on as well. So let's grab it here. Let's go back to here. And then now we need to color this one black as well a bit. So I'll hold the shift key and multi-select these uh, faces around the neck here. And then I do 
actually need to cut this one too a bit. Three, shift key, E to extrude, S to scale and up a bit. Scale and then I force scaling on the Y axis by pressing Y scale and then Z to force it on the Z axis. Control plus to expand the selection around and then G to move it to black. And then I've got two minutes and 40 seconds to go. So it should be enough to color this one skin color. Now I don't have the mirror modifier on anymore, so I need to do this by hand. Let's make that a little bit darker. Let's get give him some hair as well. So I'll select this one. Uh, oh yeah, I need to do both sides now, because I don't have the mirror modifier, like I just said. I don't even listen to myself anymore. Hope someone else is. <laughs> e to extrude, S to scale it. Oh, and it looks like a Taekwondo helmet. <laughs> uh, let's keep it like that for now scale maybe y okay. and then i'm going to do some extrusions here actually i'll do um e to extrude this oh no let's see what should i do i'll cut this one a little bit with the knife tool just to get some shapes and oh no before that i talked too much control z a few times control plus to expand and let's give him some dark hair and then now i have uh, got one minute and 47 seconds i've got uh, missed anything else no, not, nothing significant here let's make him uh, some sort of a hairdo here so i'll cut this a little bit in the mesh up give him some spikier hair maybe uh, maybe move these vertices up a bit these i can just move like this i'll do e to extrude s to scale press zero to shrink them down to nothing e to extrude s scale down to and then i press zero on the keyboard here and then i'll merge these vertices e to extrude s and then zero Cut this one in two. Select this one, E to extrude, S to scale zero, E to extrude, S zero. G to grab that one out a bit, E to extrude, scale zero. So 57 seconds to go, E to extrude, scale zero, E to extrude, scale zero. Alt A and then Alt M to merge by distance so we don't get rid of all the duplicates. Let's expand this one. Uh, e to extrude, scale zero. And then move this vertex a bit. Something on top of the head here as well. Let's move these a bit random as well. How am I doing? 26 seconds. I'm not gonna give him any face, face features for now. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Maybe move this one down. And 13, should we give him anything else? No, I think that's sufficient. Move that one in a bit. And that one down a bit. Okay, that's our martial artist. <laughs> okay, 10 minutes up. This time I'm gonna remember to switch this off so I don't have to annoy you too much. And uh, this is uh, a little tribute then to my past days of uh, doing Taekwondo. And uh, it's got uh, the traditional Taekwondo suit here, maybe with the black uh, trims around. Could have done some black maybe on the pants as well. Some some people had that. And you've got the belt going there. And uh, maybe in, uh, I could add uh, a little video where I rig this one. Give it a thumbs up if you want me to. I don't even have to give it a thumbs up. Just put in the comments if you want me to rig this character. I can see how I can turn this topology maybe to uh, and see how it behaves when I've done these cuts and see what needs to be done to improve the shape of it. If I wanted to do it a little bit more uh, suitable for animating. I'm tempted to actually do the rigging now, but I don't want to make this video into a long video. I have a tendency to make quite long videos. Yesterday I uploaded a one that was about two hours <laughs> and that's making a game from start to finish with everything that you need to know pretty much to get a, a game together. So I don't want to make this longer than what it needs to be. Put in the comments below, what did you think? Did it turn out okay? Could I have done something differently? This time around, I don't really have any images to compare to because I just sort of freebased this one a little bit. I just went out of uh, my mind. I didn't go out of my mind. <laughs> but, uh, I just came up with the design as I went along. But maybe uh, just for, for the sake of it, I'll uh, bring a browser up here and then uh, I'll uh, actually Google uh, martial arts and then we'll do a fun comparison anyway. Martial artist. And then see what we get. So this is the first time I'm actually Googling this. And uh, if I maximize this. So I guess uh, the closest type of uh, suit, as I mentioned, some, some of the people have some black trimmings on their pants here as well, but maybe this is the closest. 
Uh, some didn't have, have it, actually, usually they kept the black just around the neck up here as well, not all the way down like I did it. It'd be fun to model some martial art moves as well, actually. I'm tempted to do that as well, but this is, so <laughs> I should do a side-by-side -side comparison here then. So here's, uh, uh, this guy is no good at doing a T-pose, I'll tell you that. So I think uh, mine wins at the T-pose, in the T-pose games. Right, that said, uh, I'll uh, put this uh, character in the download link as well if you want to download the blend file and uh, have some fun with it and see uh, what you can come up with as well. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I've set myself a, a massive goal this uh, year. I'm going to try to put out uh, this type of a video every week now, so every Thursday, and I'm going to also add some other videos in between. So I'll do some Unity tutorials and things like that. So please uh, share if you can and uh, help me to reach uh, my uh, goal. Of, I was going to say 50,000 subscribers. Uh, it's an ambitious goal, so I think I'll raise it to 100,000 subscribers. How about that? So <laughs> Watch me fail. This actually looks like my friend Jim. Hey, Jim, do you see this? It looks like you. <laughs> now I'm going to enjoy a nice cup of coffee and soon I have to head to bed as well because tomorrow is another game dev day. I've, uh, for those of you who have watched some of my previous videos, I mentioned that I've stopped for the time being doing my day job as an IT consultant. I work normally as a security architect for a big Swedish clothes company I've been for a long time, if you can guess which one that one is. But for now, I've uh, put that temporarily on hold because I'm making a game with a, a new colleague of mine. We formed a new company and uh, I'm really excited about the game. We've been going at it for probably eight months now. We were still uh, really hammering away on making a multiplayer game that we're really excited about. And we're uh, doing Alpha 3 now for ourselves. We haven't gone public with anything yet. We think it's uh, got some quite new elements to bring to the arena of uh, multiplayer games. We've played it against ourselves a lot and it's really, uh, we find it to be a lot of fun and I hope everyone else will as well once we can finally go public and eventually release it as well. Okay, so that's enough about the game. Take care, subscribe if you haven't already, thumbs up if you could, it helped me out a lot and uh, I'll see you next week for another 10 minute blender blend. Thank you.